What's up, weebs? Heartless back here. Got another unboxing from Right Stuff. Ordered a bunch of stuff back in March, April. And now it's finally here in May. So I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to open it up and then actually show you everything instead of just going, wow, here's a whole club of stuff right then and there for you. All right, so it's a big box. Uh, I think there are a bunch of trades, omnibuses. I'm not 100% sure, but I haven't cracked it yet. So let's see what we get. I don't know why people like unboxings, but it's going to be popular. I just don't get it, but hey, what do I know? Alright, oops. Alright. Just get it out real quick. It. Now, what we get? Got a bunch of stuff. Alright, first off, we got Black Lagoon. I love Black Lagoon. It's a great series. Uh, yeah, so this is most of the collection. I think I'm missing now 9 and 10. They must have been out of stock when I ordered them, so I did three different right stuff orders whenever they shipped it to me. So we have volume 6, 7, 8, and 11. 11's the newest one out. All right, here we have volume six. It has Burner on the cover. And I'll show you the front and back because people say I never take the time to show you. So take the time if you really want to see it. Volume seven. I like the blue on it. It's pretty nice. Volume eight. I like the purple tones on it. It's pretty sweet. Got the maze chasing down Roberta. And then volume 11. This one's actually thicker than some of the other ones. The orange looks pretty sweet on it. Ravi looks so nice and cute. Just like she doesn't have a care in the world. Also, Right Stuff was having a sale. Um, Boogie Snacks had a promo code, so I was like, yeah, I'll throw it in. Spent enough money. They sent me Mobile Suit Gundam W. It was just a Blu-ray, Collection 1. Yeah, I'm not a big Gundam guy, so... Probably never been watched. It's not in 4K. I don't want that. All right, what we have going on here is Vagabond. Uh, I tried to get the whole series through Right Stuff. Like I said, I made three different orders. So this is where they had in stock, and the rest will be shipped to me later. So it's pretty cool. We got Volume Six of the Omnibus. Spines look pretty sweet on these, and the back's not bad either. Then we also got Volume Eight in. Like I said, I like these spines when you put them together. They you make a really, really nice picture. So, yep, that's volume 8. And then volume 10. Again, those spines are f***ing sweet. I like the colors how they do it. They're very soft. They're not too subtle in your face just going, look at me. You know, they're pretty decent. Promise Neverland. You got volume 19 here. Finally got in because they had that really sweet biz sale going on. And I'm finally going to start binging it. I joined the anime. And yeah, I was waiting out on volume six because that really messed it up for me. But now I can read all 19 of Noir and then just wait for the last two, I think. All right, up next we have I Am Hero. Watch the movie for it. Wasn't bad. We got volume four right here. And like I said in my last video, these are actually not out of print, but due to the pandemic that uh, it's kind of hard to get from Dark Horse. Dark Horse also doesn't like reprinting this stuff. This was an on sale with the biz sale. But I used a promo code and saved 10%. It was better than paying full retail, but you get them where you can find them. And then I'm here of volume 5. Again, art's pretty sweet on it. Movie was pretty good, so hopefully the manga is even better because the movie was... It wasn't bad, it wasn't good. It was just J-horror. Lastly, we have Die Dark from Kiwashada. Can't probably see it up there, but I love his work. Dory Dora was so good. It was amazing. I've been waiting for this to come in. I want to check it out with scans online just to see if I liked it. I think I'm a month behind now, so I can actually say I read something for once. This is so good. Can't wait to do a review, but basically, quick synopsis, and no one likes my synopsises, but I don't give a f It's quick and easy. They don't spoil anything. Uh, kid lives in outer space. He is an alien. And you see this little uh, suit right here? It's a symbiotic suit that lies in a backpack like this. And if anybody gets it, they're supposed to have omnipotent power. 
Uh, he ends up becoming friends with Death in Space, and I'm not going to spoil anything else. I can't wait to do a review on this, but if you like Cuba Shadow's other work, like Door to Door, this is hilarious. It's really out there. It's so fun and entertaining. I'm probably going to do a review this month for it because no one's really talking about it. It's so good. Thanks, guys. And also, if you like it, give me that thumbs up. Yeah, I need that. Seriously, I got nothing better going on. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share it with your grandmother. I'm sure your grandmother would like this. So yeah, please, let her watch it and say, Grandma, what do you think? Post in the comments below what your grandmother thinks, and have a great day, guys. Thanks.